Okay, guys. Uh, so I've folded one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, six P groups now, and I've uh, hot glued it after I folded, and then I taped it up sideways, horizontal, vertically. All right. Let's talk about folding. Uh, when you do folds, if you're not um, really to do it right, you should use like a piece of PCB or whatever. But I don't. I don't know where to order it. But. I don't have that, so what do you do? So let's get the next P group uh, that I'm gonna connect in series. So I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna, this is gonna go, sorry, I don't have a lot of space over here. This is gonna go right here. And you see the, these tabs, you need, you need to have a, you need to have, you need to make sure you have a tab coming out so you can connect your balancer so make sure before you do it uh, connect a little little thing there little little nickel tab will do now try to connect it on the negative side because the positive side uh, you have the negative here which could cause short so again uh, you always want to avoid spot welding um, to to the positive yeah, try to stick with the negative. Uh, I'm gonna also do rounded corners here. This also keeps everything safer because you see when you when you fold it, when you fold it, you don't have you have rounded edges. That keeps it safe. So, so I'm gonna just go ahead and take it here, and I'm gonna put it on the middle of the negative. All right. By the way, I'm I'm not an expert at this or anything like that. I'm just learning things on the go here, Doctor E. Touch. Sorry. Make sure your weld is good. Welder is good. Um, I'm just learning as I go, so bear with me. I'm just sharing my what I'm doing because there's there's a little bit online, but not too much. Is that a little too long? Let me go and cut it a little bit. All right, that way I have a tab for the battery balancer. Make sure you don't forget that. And then for folding, um, this is how I'm doing it right now. If you know a better way to do it, do let me know. So fold, it's gonna go like that. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and go like this. And I'm gonna go ahead and create a couple nickel scripts here. And I'm gonna also use rounded corners for this side, actually both sides. Let me see. I'm gonna go from the rounded corner to the end here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this. This comes in really handy. By the way, when you work on batteries, make sure you don't work on a metal desk or something. You know, one time I had a. I was working on my my dog's grooming table that I bought, but on the end it had a. It has one of those metal things, and boom. I was um, I was turning my battery pack around, and boom, it shorted, and oh my god, it almost started a fire. It's a terrible experience. So get your folds like that. All right, this is fold for folding stuff, folding people. A little too long, then you can cut it. All right, I'm just sharing my method of doing after trial and error of folding. Um, the reason why I don't use the plastic tabs to do it because it takes up a lot of space. You know, making a skateboard is different from making a e-bike, e uh, for example, because, you know, a lot of it's, you're trying to save space. You're trying to have better clearance. It's not always about like, you know, oh, we gotta use this. so. I ended up just hot gluing everything and taping everything pretty much, um, but works pretty good. Now go ahead and go ahead and do the positive side first. So I'm gonna do the positive side first. All right, just do one side. So I'm gonna go ahead and spot weld this side. Right. Give me 
Let's take our time. Always take your time because you mess up one thing, you short it, and boom, you gotta redo everything. I've redone like batteries like like a dozen times. I'm like made some stupid mistakes, yelled at yelled at the wall. Oh there goes my power. Uh, hold on. Uh, sometimes my spot welder take makes the fuse go away. Okay, I'm back. Uh, sometimes that, that happens like multiple times. I need to get like a battery spot welder, like a lipo battery. Then I won't have these stupid problems. It's a really bad help. I have to redo, redo my setting. Sorry. Right. Something's off. Uh, all right, so, uh, do laterally also, just to make it secure. I like to do uh, two, two, two horizontal, two vertical. Especially for these folding ones, because you need very good welds. Otherwise, you don't want them to come off when, when you're folding. Once it's folded, it's pretty good. Hey, that looks pretty good. Now before you put the other side on, go ahead and put your finger there at the end and fold it up and then bring it back. That way when you fold it, it knows where to go. If you don't do that, all the tabs might start coming off and you might start swearing at your dog <laughs> or your, your mother. Okay, let's go ahead and spot weld the positive, sorry, the negative. And for the pos uh, for the negative side, you have a lot more room to work with. So I like to uh, spot weld it directly onto the plates first, All right? And then do a lateral in the center over the other nickel tab. Sort of have a sort of have more more uh, secure. I don't know. I like to do horizontal, vertical. Just gives you a little bit more welds. I didn't really like that weld, so I'm gonna redo the, this one over here. There we go. Sorry, mate. I gotta wait for the welder to cool down a little bit. Right, let me try that again. Ah! It's not welding in there. Okay, that's fine. I don't think it's gonna come off. So when you fold it, make sure you're on a flat surface like this. And you're gonna go ahead and hold it down and fold it, fold it, fold it. Fold it, fold it all the way. And when it's finally down, put it flat, and then you're just gonna simply just push it. All right, up to, don't push it all the way. Have a little gap. And what you can do is, uh, Go ahead and set it against the other batteries. Make sure it's, I gotta push it in just a little bit more. All right, make sure it's aligned. And what you're gonna do is apply a little hot glue. Make sure you have hot glue on the side. And this will hold it in place, basically. And that's how I fold it. <laughs> but I find this, this method was particularly kind of hard to figure out. Cause you just try to fold it and all your spot welder, uh, spot welding spots comb can like just literally just come off. But this way, um, your spot welded nickel, pl uh, nickel plates don't come off while you fold it. Just a way of folding so you don't put too much pressure on the actual thing. So that's now connected. I'm gonna do the same thing for the two more of these. And then I'm gonna tape it up. And I'll have us uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, what does that make it? Uh, that makes it six S. The twelve S. Yeah, that's one, two, three, four. That's a six S two P. And then we'll connect the two six S two P's to make twelve S two P. But look, the fold uh, when you fold it, fold it like that. What happens is when you fold it, when it's flat, then you get a nice flat. Uh, 
fold, you know, instead of like, like all weird. It can be a little crooked. This one's a little tiny bit crooked, but like it just, just generally just gives you a good fold. And once you have that pressure on there, it puts, puts some uh, hot glue, obviously. And later, we'll tape it up and it's going to be great. But that's uh, just part four, how to fold. Well, how I fold. <laughs> Maybe you have a better way of folding. Tell Dr. E and uh, I'll work on my method also. Thanks, guys.